If you've ever wanted to explore Europe by cruising down the rivers that meander through some of the most remarkable cities and landscapes, our next guest has the answer. Please welcome back to the cafe, Troy Ackerman from Avalon Waterways. Welcome back, Troy. Thank you very much. Okay, last week we had such a great chat about why you should choose river cruising, and yes. we were all sold. But tell us why river cruising in Europe is such an amazing experience. Yeah, it's it's just it gives you a different perspective of Europe that you might not have seen before. A lot of us have been lucky enough to travel to Europe, and we've seen it from the traditional vantage points, um, but just travelling via river gives it a whole different perspective. Sounds incredible, and mm. last week I was thinking, geez, just book me up straight away. What are some of the places, the best sellers that you get to go and have a look at? Yeah, the, the, the top selling itinerary out of New Zealand for many, many years has been our um, Magnificent Europe itinerary. So that's 15 days between Amsterdam and Budapest, oh. or Budapest and Amsterdam. Um, it really is a very um, all-encompassing uh, experience. It gives you the major cities such as Amsterdam, Budapest, Vienna, uh, Cologne, Bratislava, but also the small uh, German villages that you get along um, like your, your Melks and your Rudersheims and, and things like that. So uh, again, nice contrast between uh, big and small, but just a really, really nice experience. And I guess for a lot of those places too, if you were traditionally going in a bus, you wouldn't mm. necessarily pass through them, you wouldn't have stopped. So this is a great way to see some places that a lot of Kiwis probably haven't seen before. Yeah, again, I think we mentioned last week, you know, Europe was literally built on these rivers. So a lot of the towns and the villages have been there for hundreds and hundreds of years. Mm. And they're the ones that you wouldn't necessarily get to go to normally. Um, and the fact that they're pride and place in a river cruise just adds that slightly different element to it. Some of the images we are seeing, it just looks mm. absolutely stunning. What about some of the more regional itineraries? Yes, uh, France is becoming incredibly popular. Uh, we have two very popular itineraries, uh, one on the Seine uh, River, uh, and then one that goes south from Paris down to the Côte d'Azur on the Rhone and the Seine. Um, again, you know, just something slightly different. Uh, but going even further afield, you know, Southeast Asia is really becoming very, very popular. The Mekong, uh, the Irrawaddy, um, again, just a different way to look at things. Okay, and what about going to, say, Europe over the Christmas period? Yes. Obviously still stunning, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and really popular. Um, a lot of people go on our Christmas markets cruises or our Christmas time cruises that we oh, have yeah. sort <laughs> of in good. early December. And again, it, it's literally, you know, that romantic vision that people have of European winter mm. where it's mulled wine, it's Christmas markets, it's, you know, it's a little bit of cold if you're lucky, a little bit of snow. Oh, um, nice. But returning to the ship at the end of the day to, you know, hot cup of cocoa and yeah. warm towel and, and nice. off you go. Yeah, very and good. And a nice, comfortable, luxurious room yes. that suits you down to a tea so yeah, you can slip into so. your robe or whatever and just chill out for the rest of the night. That's a bit of me. That would be me lying back on the boat just watching the world pass by. Speaking of the boats, what sort of ships do you stay on for these cruises? Yeah, so for Europe for 2018, we're going to have 15 ships in our fleet, uh, 12 of which will be our Generation 4 Panorama ships. Um, the difference there being the main accommodation that you get on a panorama ship is a 200 square foot panorama suite, wow. uh, which is considerably bigger than the industry standard. Um, what that's given us is additional room to be able to throw in some additional seating, um, uh, the ability to be able to face the bed out towards the water, nice. uh, which again just gives you the ability to sort of lie back and, and watch the world float by. Um, but also our uh, panorama open air balcony, uh, which gives you the ability to be able to throw effectively concertina doors open and let some fresh air into the cabin. Oh. Um, as you sail down. So I've booked, I'm really excited. How long am I going to be away? Yeah, look, we've got anything up from, uh, from four days yep. up to sort of 21. Uh, but again, most popular would be the 15 day itinerary. So between seven and 15 tends to be uh, the most popular out of New Zealand. What, what are some of the more memorable trips you've done? Yeah, look, <laughs> most of mine tend to be based around food, unfortunately. So, <laughs> I love um, it. But yeah, I, again, I, I love our romantic Rhine itinerary, so right. Amsterdam through to Zurich. Um, it just has everything. It has the um, Rhine Gorge, which is a two-hour stretch, which is literally castles, vineyards, and you get a full commentary as you're sailing. It's absolutely breathtaking. But also sailing into Budapest on a river cruising ship was something quite special. When it comes to cruising, is it more expensive than travelling on your own, so to speak? We're travelling, you know, when you take care of the itinerary yourself. Yeah, um, no, it's not. What we try and do is obviously include as many things as we can mm -hmm. um, to obviously give people value for money, um, but then also leave a few things out to give people choice to be able to custom make their itinerary from there. Right. Um, regarding single travellers though, we've actually got um, an offer out at the moment where we've waived the single supplement on um, all of our itineraries um, up uh, for 2018. There's a select amount of, of cabins available for singles where they only pay the twin share price. Uh, quite often single travellers feel marginalised because they're travelling by themselves right. and they're going to pay effectively for two people. Um, so we've recognised that and for 2018, uh, they can book at the twin share rate, 
um, and have a cabin to themselves. So great offers and mm -hmm. have you out with the airfare as well. There's actually an Avalon air credit system at the moment. Yeah, there is. Um, airfares have never been cheaper out of New Zealand to Europe. Um, I've been in the industry 20 years and I've never ever seen airfares as cheap as they are at the moment. Um, so to assist with that further, uh, anyone who deposits with Avalon Waterways until the 15th of December will receive an air credit of up to $1,500 per person uh, to put towards an airfare of their choice to help them get over there and, and experience an Avalon Waterways river cruise. Nice work. Yeah. I'm sold. And if you want to know more about cruising in Europe, ask your local travel agent or visit avalonwaterways.co.nz. Go on, do it. You will not regret it. You can also phone them now to reserve your space on 0800 000 883. That's 0800 000 883. And you can find out more. Thank you very much. Troy. Thanks very much.